You know, sometimes you just get in the mood to make a video. And I'm not ready, but the lighting is so nice outside and the colors are so pretty. And I did get something new right there. A little coach, I'll show you in a second. Look at the flowers and the water. And let's see, the sky too is pretty cool. All right. Oh, and I also got this little frog resale. Isn't that adorable? And I don't know much about it other than it's pretty. And then what I have here is this little coach. Um, I did. I am uploading the video of where I found this at the Coach Outlet, and I'm so excited to see it. But I was just reviewing that video now, and the price of, this was on clearance, but I think the base price of this was more than the plain black one that says Coach, probably about, I don't know, maybe $50 difference in the base, I don't know, I could go in with my receipt and ask them about it um, but why I like this so much is because I'm starting to get small leather goods and last year when this came out 2020 to celebrate the Chinese year of the rat I kind of thought about them you know because of the you know the date of 2020 and I never did but then after this year we've been having how everything is so memorial um the year has been really kind of astounding to stay the least so i was really happy when i found this and let me see if i can find my receipt i'll show you the inside too you can look at the frog um this is what it is it's the uh, the rat stamp, and 128 was marked down to 20, 22.99. They always kind of uh, pencil them down when they go to clearance rack. So clearance would be 70% off of that. So that would be 30, 40 something, I think, or 30 whatever, whatever they charge me. But when I looked at, let's see, 36. 98 or something 3689 but anyways um, I'll see you know I'll see if the price isn't the other one now but anyways this is this is the interior and it's kind of interesting it's got a little slip pocket here and the gussets on the side so your things don't fall out and it is a cloth interior, so I don't think I'd use it as a makeup bag. A makeup bag, oh, move over, Leaf. A makeup bag needs to have a non-porous material, I think. But anyways, I'm really happy with this. And they made a few other pieces in the 2020. Um, the rat, you're the rat. And boy, I'd like to get some of those or see them now. I was just happy and lucky to have found this one. All right, I wanted to share that and I wanted to, I thought it'd be a good subject for a video that I was itching to make. Let's see my plants. Should we go look at my tomatoes real quick? Sure, hold on. And my peppers. I got peppers and those, oops, I should go slow. Peppers. Some of them have gotten old. I don't know. I think that's that uh, root rot. But I got a couple other pepper. You gotta plant a lot. I got another uh, pepper pepper plant that's doing well. Okay, there's my tomatoes. And are these the Cherokee purples, I think? See how big they're getting? They're supposed to get real big and gnarly. But I'm giving them water all the time. And then now what was this one? That's another heirloom one. Big and gnarly is what I want. And I got two kinds of cherry, or cherry tomatoes, I guess. The round, 
and then the pear shaped and the pear shape is much sweeter and then my eggplant I think they'll do fine down there on the ground till they get bigger there's a baby and my other peppers poblanos aren't they pretty Can you see them I've used a few of these. I just used some today and they had a little bit of red like this and they seemed a little tough. They, probably because they aren't big enough. They should get, I don't know, about this long, maybe. I don't know. Depends on the variety. I don't know. Now what is this? This is a, a bell pepper next to it? I think so. Yeah. Let's see what the tag says. Oh, an ancho, Pablamo ancho is that first one. And the second one, I'm sure I don't know what you're looking at. No, maybe they're both, I don't know. And over here, um, these are the jalapenos. Now look how dark they are. I've never grown these peppers before. So I don't have a clue what's going on. And these are red bell peppers, and I've had a couple of those, I think, when they were bright red, and they were pretty good. I used them for cooking. Oh, there's some more. Wow. See, not that one's probably overripe. Huh. The celery I let go to seed. If that's, whoops, I don't know if that's any good in there. And I love these things. They smell so wonderful. Yellow. I usually don't want ye yellow, but I was surprised if I put them in this year. And they made me really happy. <laughs> and what else do I have? Oh, my herbs. They're getting... I let them go to seed. And I guess you're not really supposed to. Nothing happened last year too much with them. But, um... Let's see, the rosemary, the basil, and the Greek oregano. Oh, and the parsley. I cooked tonight. I should have put some of this in. I forgot. Um, Romano tomatoes. This one is sad. I put about three of them in this little pot down there. And I think that's what they don't like because their leaves are getting... I try not to let the water get on the leaves. And it might be some kind of fungus or something, I don't know. And there are two over here, and they were doing really well until the wind came and kind of blew the tops off and then exposed the tomatoes. Now, I've heard that that's the deal with the leaves on tomatoes. You're supposed to have the leaves over the tomatoes. Well, we'll see. I'm just kind of letting them go. What will determine what the test, I guess, will be is the taste. What do they taste like? And then hopefully they'll be nutritious too. Okay, there's Mr. Tiger. Oh, you're pretty. All right, thanks for watching. And I'm gonna be getting some doonies in a few days. And I'm anxious to see those. I'll show them to you also. Bye.